Hey there Libra, this is Renee and welcome back. Libra, this is going to be your next your, your next three month reading. Uh, we're going to take a look at the next three months, what's going on, what you're not expecting, what's coming forward for you, okay? So, if this resonates, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. And make sure to stay tuned to the end when I'll be pulling a angel number for you and giving you that meaning. Okay, so let's jump right in here, Libra. Let's see what's going on for Libra in the next three months. What messages we have for Libra. Okay, we have the three of thought. Okay, loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been to your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Okay. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for Libra? So I feel like you're going through a hard time. The Three of Thought, that's uh, the Three of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there may be some kind of heartbreak, some kind of disappointment that you're feeling at the moment. There's something going on that you need to work through that you need to um, be healed and be nurtured at this time. So I feel like, you know, this is going to be a time for you to heal and nurture yourself during this period. Okay? Okay, we have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Okay, the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun, meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and and it becomes your own reward. Okay, so I feel like Spirit wants to let you know to get out and experience life. To go ahead and put your energy um, into your health, into your well-being in order to go through that healing experience that you need. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, immersing yourself into activities is going to help you out a lot during this time. Maybe join in a gym, maybe join in some kind of exercise group, yoga, uh, Reiki, um, you know, some kind of meditation will also be helpful. But I, I, I feel like getting out there and just you know, being able to focus on yourself is going to be helpful. We also have friendships. So maybe you'll be sharing that focus with someone. Okay. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So I feel like you may be harboring new friendships at the moment. There may be someone new that you're um, adding to your friend list. Okay. So let's get another message for... Libra passion so I feel like you know this is becoming a very passionate time for you I feel like you're able to follow a passion maybe you're able to put more time into something that you love doing um, but I feel like you're you're focusing your energy correctly okay you're this may also be a good time to where you know you are developing these friendships and it may lead to some passionate endeavors okay so i, I feel like there's a lot going on for you um uh, libra and i feel like this three months is going to be very interesting to say the least let's see um let's take a look what does Libra need to release for the greater good? What needs to be released for Libra to move forward this next three months? What needs to be released, Spirit? Give me a message for Libra. Okay, the hangman. 
the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's a new beginning on the horizon. You're taking a leap of faith. You're finding a new path to follow. So this is beautiful energy because I feel like, you know, you're you're not really um, focused on where the journey is leading you. You're just taking this journey. And I feel like, you know, this is a new beginning. This is having a new perspective on life. You know, maybe your heart was broken. Maybe something was lost. But I feel like it's shifting your your awareness, okay? Your awareness is being shifted. You're changing your perspective on the way you see life and love and the people around you, okay? You are looking at people not only for their value but what they can offer to your situation but also for their support and the way that they make you feel okay i feel like that's very important to you if someone makes you feel very defensive i feel like you kind of guard yourself but if someone makes you feel very supported i feel like you kind of tend that they're kind of babying you up or they're not being totally honest with you. So I feel like you kind of look at people in certain ways. Okay, so I feel like you are viewing people for um, what they are showing you. Okay, and I feel like you're also gaining some independence here. You're finding that you are self-sufficient you're finding that you can handle things on your own like you are your own um, boss you're not letting someone lead you any longer you're being very independent you're focused on your wealth your life your activities you know so I, I feel like you know you have gained a lot of freedom in this situation okay and I feel like it's it's kind of moved you to um, have this it's, it's like the the perceptions that you once believed in that has been switched that has been changed okay um, it's like a light switch going off and on you know I feel like you you see how independent you can be Whereas I feel like before you, you were very scared of that independence. You were very scared to take that leap, you know. But now you have faith in yourself. You have faith in your abilities. Spirit just told me something. He was uh, letting me know um, so a quote. Well, damn, I can do this on my own. You know, I've got this. You know, and I, I feel like you're coming to that realization that, yeah, you got this. You can do this. You are self-sufficient. You are independent. Okay? And I feel like you were fearing that at, at one moment. Okay? So one of your challenges, the High Priestess, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know... A lot of things are hidden from you. There's a lot of things that you don't totally understand. There's a lot of things that are still a mystery. But I feel like you're pushing on because you're trusting yourself. So that's a challenge. A challenge is to trust yourself more. To listen to your intuition. To follow the lead of something that may be unseen. Okay? And I feel like there's big blessings behind that. There's big blessings behind you know, trusting in your intuition, following your happiness. Uh, another challenge that you may have is just taking action. You know, adapting to your situation. Um, being very assertive. Being, uh, being able to take action in the situation. Whatever your situation is. You know, stepping up and taking the lead. I already feel like you're very charming, very bold, very daring. But now's the time to be fearless, to be powerful, to be assertive, to go out there and get exactly what you want. Take action. 
okay and I feel like you know <laughs> I don't know why your challenge is to be happy why is your challenge to be happy Libra and I feel like you know sometimes you may see things in the darker light but see things in its true light okay find happiness in the small situations find happiness in the little things okay and I feel like that will lead to bigger things but just pursuing happiness because I feel like happiness should not be your challenge are you for real happiness is a feeling it's something that we're always pursuing we're always pursuing happiness you know the pursuit of happiness but um, I feel like it shouldn't be a challenge it shouldn't be a challenge so look for happiness in the little things okay Libra I, I think that that will be very helpful for you the little achievements the little things the little goals that you achieve you know celebrate those celebrate yourself celebrate yourself every day okay look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are how gifted you are how assertive you are you know and put little affirmations around the room that you got this you can do this you know your goals your achievements you know write yourself little notes and do something nice for yourself when you hit those achievements okay so now let's take a look at what's blessing libra in the next three months we'll take a look at what's blessing libra okay wow okay Okay. Oh, look at this. We have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. Finding your passion. Becoming more attractive. Not that you aren't already attractive, but I feel like you're changing things about yourself. You're finding the beauty within yourself. You're finding a new passion. You're finding reasons to be happy. You're finding reasons to be assertive, to be more energetic, to have more drive. Okay, and um, uh, the thing about the Queen of Wands, she doesn't care about what other people see her as. She just cares about how she feels. Okay, so I feel like, you know, that, that's a characteristic that you may want to take hold of is to not care about what other people think. You know, care about how you feel about certain situations. Okay, I feel like that's going to be very helpful. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like you're being very strategic about your planning. I feel like you are coming with a strategic plan. You're no longer waiting for someone to make plans for you. And you are, you know, you're, you have the, the, the planner all yourself. You know, you're the one that makes the plans. You're the ones who sets the goals, the achievements, you know. And I, I feel like that's something new. I feel like you, you're looking out on the horizon, just seeing the possibilities. Just making the plans, making things happen, seeing where they go. Okay? And I feel like, you know, you may be traveling very soon. You may be um, going on some kind of vacation, um, maybe on a cruise, maybe on a flight to another city, maybe to go see someone. But I feel like you're making plans. You're setting your expectations high, okay? And I feel like you are going through this growth where you're finally spreading your wings and you're flying because I, I feel like at some point you know look at this feather falling away I feel at some point someone had clipped your wings Libra 
Someone was kind of blocking you from flying. Someone was blocking you from soaring with, you know, your plans. Someone was blocking you, but I feel like you're free. You're free to do what you want to do, go where you want to go. You know, I feel like someone was holding you back at one point and it made you feel very limited. Okay? But I feel like you you've let those you you've let those wands down. You're like, you know, I'm done with that. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm setting my own priorities. I'm doing what feels good for Libra. Okay? And I'm protecting my energy. I'm no longer letting this negative energy in. I'm protecting my energy. I'm protecting my finances. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, just guarding things. Okay? Because I feel like, you know, you are, there's something that you're working on. And I get this sense that it's, I, I feel like it's your self-esteem, your confidence. There, there's something that you're building. There's something that you're working on achieving, okay? And I'm getting that you are looking for ways to build your confidence, to build your self-esteem, to build yourself up. Um, and I feel like maybe you're changing your appearance. You're working on different things. Okay, let's get a little bit more clarification for this. Tell me more about this situation for Libra. Give me more of a message, please. What big blessings are coming in for Libra? What blessings are coming in? The Page of Cups. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, I, I feel like you know, there's going to be an offer very soon for you to go out. Someone's offering you an invitation. Someone's asking you out on a date. Someone's asking you out for dinner, something like that. And I feel like that invitation... Hmm. That invitation makes you feel very special. It makes you feel very grounded. Okay. I also feel like your your income is increasing. I feel like things are working out for the better for you. I feel like you're finally in a better place. You're finally, you know, working at a stable place. You're feeling more um, grounded. You have everything that you need. And I feel like you're weighing your options of what to do next. I feel like you're weighing your options of where to go, what plans to make. You know, really looking towards the future. Really trying to make some choices on where you want to go next. Okay. Very interesting. Hmm. But I feel like you're in a stable place. Libra. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. We got the fool again. You're in a stable place. You're you're taking this leap of faith. You are starting fresh. This is a new beginning, a new journey. You know, not knowing all the answers, but I feel like you're going. You're going anywhere. You're you know, you're enjoying the journey. Okay, so that's beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with Libra in love. What's going on with Libra's love life? What's going on with Libra's love life, please? Message for Libra. Okay, we have a date. Meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan, set, a date. We see that right here. Someone's going to ask you out. Okay, we have seduction, some kind of attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. Hmm. There's something going on here. 
At the bottom we have coffee cup, a meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Okay, so we have friendship right here as well. So I feel like something, something may be evolving here. Okay, let's get, let's see, these are handmade cards, but I'm going to get a message. What does Libra need to know? What does someone want to say to Libra? Give me a message, please. What does Libra need to know? Ooh, we have let it go. Positive thoughts create positive actions. Okay. We have time to start something new. That's that new beginning we were seeing. Okay. And we have. I want to get close to you, but I'm dealing with other things. Okay. You are headed for a happy reunion. Okay, and one more. Healing to create the perfect time to reunite. Okay, so some, there's going to be some, sign, some type of reunion here. And I, just like I felt before, I feel like you're going through healing. I feel like something's going on. It's, you know, and, you know, those are the messages for you. Take them as they resonate. Okay. <sighs> Let's get a manifestation monology card for Libra. Okay. We've got a few here. We have go deeper, new moon in Scorpio. So... You know, when you're doing that healing, when you're doing that healing, go deeper. Go deeper into that healing, okay? And we have New Moon and Capricorn. Step up and lead. Okay. At the bottom, we have Take a Breather. So also take time to relax and rejuvenate. Okay? Focus on yourself, on your healing, and just, you know, take in that feelings. Those feelings of, you know, healing. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more Oracle cards for Libra. We have Holy Love. So Spirit wants you to know you have love and protection. Okay? There's love coming for you. We also have Listen Deeply. So there's someone around you who wants you to listen very clearly what they have to say. They want you to really hear them. You know, it may be spirit. It may be someone around you. So you may need to use your intuition to really listen very deeply to what is being said and totally understand. Okay? Beautiful. At the bottom we have Compassion. Okay, hey, let's get another card here. What else do we have for Libra? What else do we have for Libra, please? What else do we have for Libra? Okay, we have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Okay, and we have supreme protection you are protected cords are being cut move beyond limitation and trust okay and at the bottom we have open communication get a weight off your chest speak up with love and be heard okay so spirit wants you to speak your truth speak your truth to someone you know, don't hold back your feelings. Speak speak your truth to someone, okay? So let's get an angel number. We'll go ahead and get an angel number for Libra. What angel number do we have for Libra, please? Okay, we have 1212 duality. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is in your, that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay, I'm going to read that one more time. 
Within you are the shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your, your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay? And your affirmation, I fully embrace who I am and allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me. Okay, beautiful. So your angel numbers are 12, 12. And you can feel free to look those up to gain a further meaning of those. Okay. Um, okay, Libra, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Also, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon, rising, and Venus sign. If you know that, I have those in the March playlist. Okay? And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.